Hello everybody, we're going to be demonstrating the automated retractable uh, cargo bay door for Space Engineers. It's just a simple small ship with a bunch of heavy armor block making the door and some weighted cubes along the top and also on the bottom for the closing. The operational mechanism is the gravity generator row alternating uh, push and pull. The way this works is the top ones upside down do the pulling that tug the door up. The ones on the bottom create a cushion that only reaches about down to here as you can see as I get close to the wall. And uh, they create a cushion where it cancels out the gravity. Oh, well, you can't see it right now because the lower gravity generators are engaged, uh, which pulled the door down earlier. So it's showing a 0.3 Gs of gravity going down. That's why. If that wasn't engaged, though, you would see that I'm in a no gravity zone here because I'm in the buffer of the two fighting each other. That allows the door to stop, assisting it with the arm thrusters so that it doesn't just crash straight up through with the momentum it has. And the same goes for going down. So anyway, the identical system is underneath the platform as well. So what we're going to do is we're going to come to the control panel here. The first thing we need to do is we need to shut off our lower generators, which I haven't bothered to name yet. So we're just going to go through and do it in sequence here. And this is a real pain in the ass. And some of you might be thinking, why can't you just have one or a few gravity generators? Because it'll accomplish the same thing. Well, that's true. But I find that it also causes my door to pull up crooked, even if I center it properly. I don't know why that happens, but I'd rather create a system that's a little more foolproof and less buggy. So anyway, with all of the lowers turned on, Nothing is holding it down anymore except just the fact that we're in space. So I'll go back up here and you'll see no gravity. It's all off now, so once again I can't show you that. Alright, it's late, so. Come back in here. And we'll start activating these in sequence. Raise and raise cushion system I described earlier. As I go through you'll see the different settings. The raises don't have that restriction on their height. And they're all down at a nice gentle 0.3 G's. So that door raises nice and slow. It doesn't damage itself. It's weird, it, al it almost seems like it waits for me to get out of that menu to even start. I don't know why that is. Yeah, okay, well, I'll, I'll slip up here real quick before it slams on me and I'll show you what I was trying to show you earlier. Gravity 3G is pulling up, but once I get close enough to the lid, I hit a no gravity. I'm considering extending that a little bit so it's a bigger bubble, uh, and you'll see why in a sec. It's also why this landing gear is here. In fact, I'm missing a piece of landing gear from when I raised it earlier. It's not quite slowing down fast enough yet. And also, the other problem is this is light armor block right here, which is shitty. And it kind of breaks when this door hits it. It'll be much more sturdy when, if I could replace it to a heavy armor block, but I can't do that right now because it would rip off my generators. And I don't want to go through the trouble of renaming them and changing the settings again. Anyway, so this is what happens. It's hitting the bubble right about now. Landing gear turns yellow, close, and stops. And I just lost another piece of landing gear. And it damaged the on the block. So I probably just need to bump these settings a little bit so that the bubble is bigger. But we won't worry about that. As you can see, our door is open. Our ships, theoretically, could fly, now, fly out now of the cargo gate. And I will close it the same way. But you know what? This is a really big video because it's on fraps, so I'm not going to do that. 
but you can see how the mechanism works. It works the same way coming down. In fact, the impact is a little gentler on the way down for some reason. A couple tweaks to my gravity generators and perfect, but even now, it's surprisingly adequate how the system isn't damaging itself anymore, because uh, this is really just a small ship, and it doesn't drift to either side. It fits quite snugly in between these two uh, restrictor rails in the front and back. Uh, my old design was large ship blocks, and it was quite destructive, but this one works very well and uh, isn't causing too much damage or any damage to the, the slots, which is fantastic. Just in case it was, though, it's a heavy block. Do keep in mind this is a system that requires maintenance, though. You know, you are going to have to come through with a welder every now and again, replace a piece of landing gear. If you're really unlucky, maybe a couple mass blocks. But uh, the biggest issue is having to flip and toggle all those gravity generators. You can make your system with one or two in the center if you want, but uh, I'm telling you it's going to wind up pulling it up crooked every now and again. So that is the retractable cargo door. Go ahead and enjoy that and go build yourself one on your ships. And uh, somebody let me know in a comment if you find one that operates on a piston, because I'd love to try one of those. I like the gravity, but a piston one would be much more um, fun. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, see you later.